Hi everyone, welcome back to Study Planet. Today I am going to share my complete revature online assessment experience. From the moment I got the mail to opening the test, the procreating, the sections, time management, everything. If you are preparing for revature, don't miss this video and don't skip the video. Watch until the end. The mail from revature. I received the mail with the subject update on your candidature with revature. The mail said the online assessment is active now. We must complete within 48 hours. The link will be active only in this period, 48 hours. The assessment duration is 60 minutes. Webcam is mandatory. Supported browsers, Google Chrome, Safari, Mozilla, Firefox. If the power goes off or internet disconnects, we can simply click start test again and it will resume from the last saved point. They also mentioned if we clear the assessment, they will contact us within two weeks. If we don't receive a call or mail, that means we didn't qualify. Now opening the test, when I clicked on the begin evaluation button in the mail, it redirected me to the test environment. Chrome asked for webcam permissions and you must allow it because procreating is compulsory. Before starting the test, very important steps after entering to the test page. Step 1, accept all cookies. There is an option, accept all cookies. You have to click this. If you skip this, the test might not load properly. And step 2, take your photo. Below the instructions, you have to take a picture of yourself. But what happened to me was when I scroll down, the camera section was not showing. Only instructions are visible. So just refresh the page. And after refreshing your page, your camera will show you, show your face and you can take the picture. Then click start test. Before starting the test, here you can see total time 60 minutes and number of sections and number of questions in each section. There were the sections shown to me, programming fundamentals, 15 questions, mostly MCQs, some pseudocode based outputs you have to answer and the database SQL 5 questions and very basic and simple questions. Um, uh, one question I want to tell you, what does SQL stands for? It is very easy question. Structured query language, we have to answer like that. Uh, we take 10 seconds to answer like this type of questions. And aptitude 10 questions, uh, simple math, logical reasoning questions, and English proficiency 15 questions, basic grammar and comprehension style MCQs, uh, vocabulary and meaning and antonyms like that. Java coding 10 questions, output based and concept based coding MCQs. In Java coding means five questions on theory and five questions on uh, pseudocodes, and all the questions were MCQs only, no long coding typing required. And very important how to navigate questions. This is the very this is where most candidates make a mistake. When the first question appears on the screen, don't click submit immediately of transferring because when you click on the submit, your entire exam ends. To move to the next question or to go to the next question, click the right arrow. To go back, click left arrow. You can skip questions and come back before final submit. The timer is shown at a top right corner. So manage your time. Even though your face does not appear on the test screen, the test is still procreated. They are showing recording symbol. Uh, the system is recording your webcam is webcam in the background. So don't uh, look away too much and don't talk and don't use your phone uh, in front of the screen and don't switch tabs. They clearly mention the assessment is procreated. After you complete all the questions, answering all the questions, check once by moving back using arrows and click submit. The test closes immediately after submission. Rivage said if you pass, they will call or mail within two weeks. If no update comes, it means application didn't move forward. Within two weeks, you get a mail if you are passed this test. And uh, overall, my experience is uh, it is easy to medium level especially programming fundamentals and SQL. The platform was user friendly, but many candidates may get confused about the submit button and camera not loading. So refresh the page, accept all cookies and use navigation arrows carefully. I have previously completed the EPAM online assessment and I have posted a detailed explanation video on my channel. If you have received your EPAM test mail and are preparing for the exam, make sure to check out the video for complete guidance if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe to study planet for more job updates exam experiences all the best for your revision exam thank you so much for watching study planet